every three seconds, someone in the U.S. needs a blood transfusion, and you have a chance to help this Saturday at the San Diego City Firefighters Blood Drive. And joining us this morning, we have Claudine uh, with San Diego Blood Bank, and we have San Diego Fire Rescue Captain and Paramedic Joe Zakar. Thank you both for being here this morning. Absolutely. Thank you. This is such an important message. I don't think I ever hear that we don't ever need the blood, right? So talk to us about the need. Yeah, I mean, there's never enough, quite frankly. Um, you know, a lot of people don't realize we need to collect about 350 plus units of blood every single day just to keep up with the needs of hospitals and patients. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we do the best to do that. We try to keep a seven day supply of all types. Um, as of right now, you know, we're doing okay, but we need all types but those O's, those O positive and O negatives. We're at less than a half a day. So, you know, it's, it's really critical people come out no matter what the type, but especially those O's. Okay, and I know, Joe, this was this was your idea to put on this blood drive on Saturday, correct? Yeah, um, so we've actually had a, a blood drive, a couple blood drives in the past here um, for uh, members of ours uh, that were battling cancer um, and the community was absolutely amazing uh, coming out supporting us uh, helping us out uh, and we wanted to be able to give back to our community right now so uh, what better idea than to do a blood drive fill those blood banks up and make sure that we have plenty of blood for our local hospitals and for whoever we need because it's it's not just traumatic events, there's cancer treatments, there's so many other things uh, that this blood is used for. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like you mentioned, this hits close to home for a lot of you guys because you've had members of your team Absolutely. that have had the diagnosis, right? Yeah, so we've actually, in about the past five years, we've actually had uh, upwards of like 35 uh, members that have been uh, diagnosed with oh. cancer. Yeah, so it, 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 it's up there. It, obviously, our jobs are very uh, inherent. We have that inherent risk, right, of we're exposed to so many carcinogens mm -hmm. and so many different things, chemicals, um, that there is that possibility of cancer, mm. right? Um, so we we basically, you know, we like I said, we wanted to give back to the community because they've given so much to us and we just wanted to do this blood drive. You know, you think about uh, what our firefighters do on the daily and they're going out there risking your lives and your health to help the community. And then you still want to give back to the community. This is amazing. Um, I, that should pretty much pull at the heartstrings, I, I think. I would donate. I have been told in the past I'm not able to because I have low blood pressure. However, Claudine, what what other reasons are you hearing that maybe people don't realize, like maybe they've never given blood before and keeps them from coming? Yeah, I think a lot of it is you don't think about it until it touches you or someone that you yeah. know. Um, but to realize the need and that there's no substitute. So if we don't have volunteer blood donors and someone's on the table, you can have the most skilled physician, the best hospital, mm -hmm. but if you need blood and it's not there, you know, you may not survive. It, it, Joe was just talking about the types of, uh, of things that we would need the blood transfusions for. People sometimes think, oh, someone is sick, but it could be it could be a, an emergency. Can you talk to us about who the I mean, who would be receiving some of the blood? Sure, sure. I mean, definitely trauma victims, you know, accident victims, people uh, with cancer, you know, mothers who are experiencing childbirth complications, and then there's also folks who use blood on an ongoing basis to yeah. treat mm -hmm. conditions like sickle cell anemia or thalassemia, which is a rare form of anemia. Um, and you know, these people, they're of all colors and ages. It could be your mother. It could be your sister, it could be your brother, your grandfather. Um, so it knows no age limit and no mm -hmm. and no race limit. It's everybody needs blood. And you bring up a good point. Sometimes we don't realize it until it hits that close to home and someone that you love suddenly needs a, 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 bl a blood transfusion. So let's get to the blood drive information because if you're listening to this right now and you're like, I gotta, I gotta get out there, I gotta support the community. The blood drive is happening this Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. That's plenty of time. The rain will have ended already, so there is no excuse. This is happening at the San Diego City Firef uh, Firefighters Local 145 Union Hall. You said that this is in Mission Valley, so yes. if you're familiar yep. with the Snapdragon Stadium, it's it's right near there along uh, Mission Mission Road there. So this is fantastic. Again, I cannot thank you both enough for coming here and, and expressing the need Absolutely. for our community. For and again, us. I'm like, our firefighters are trying to give back and they help us so much. So thank you, Joe, thank and your you. team for Appreciate always supporting. It. Absolutely. If you want more information on what we just spoke about, you can go to our website, fox5sandiego.com, click the scene on tab, and we'll make sure that you're all linked and ready to go. Thank you again. Awesome.